Hello everyone, my name is Tolani and welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this super smooth slow motion and velocity effect also known as smooth action camp. As most of us already know about this action effect which, which is going to be making your montage very smooth and slow motion and as well maybe you want to create some speed ramping and all of kind of effect to make your video look more professional today i'm gonna to be walking you through how you can achieve that and as well which will lead us to what uh, which will lead us to what comparing node video editing app with the action camp which most of us are familiar with which is gonna be leading us to compare the, the rendering and all of the export mode of the two app i'm gonna be comparing the two of them and see which one actually does it better as most of us have already know that node video editing app is the best video editor app for any kind of montage of video but before we jump start please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing and turn on the bell to stay notified every time i release a new video and if you're new to my channel please also make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing turn your notification bell so you stay notified every time i release a new video and i'm also reaching out to you guys that are reaching me on my instagram page sending me messages about your request i've seen all of your requests and i'm going to be making tutorial based on that and this tutorial as well is based on the request that you guys are requesting and as well if you want to reach out to me or send me some example which you want me to make tutorial about you can as well reach me on isuta learnings on instagram i'm gonna be i'm gonna be receiving your requests as well and so without further ado let's dive in so this is the clip right here so let me delete this and let me import the new one so to import you're gonna click on the plus icon then go to your what the median then you go to video so you look for the footage in your folder but for this i have already arranged everything in my own phone folder so this is the clip right here so let's play it up and see what the clip actually look like as you can see the clip is playing in its real speed let me play it one more time as you can see the speed is playing in its real time i know most of us just rush into the world the slow move and start slowing things down which is going to be giving you some work which is not going to be giving you that smooth effect so i'm going to be walking you through how you can get the smooth action effect properly so what you want to do is to come down to this plus icon and go to your what to the time then you see these two clips you're going to click on the word the time frame you guys should pardon, pardon me on my voice my my microphone girl spoiled so that's why i'm using my ordinary record on my smartphone so you guys pardon me and just make sure you support me on my channel by hitting the subscribe button this this will help me a lot in growing so i can able to what keep adding value for you guys so as you can see right here when you click on the video and drag this onto the last clip it's gonna tell you the duration of your clip time so which tells you that it starts from zero and ends at three ratio zero eight which is nice to know as well as the formation so you can click on this and delete your time remapping so now i know the word the length of my clips so i don't want to i don't want to stretch the frame too much whenever i want to what create this slow motion action so what i'm going to be doing now is what to create that smooth action first thing you have to do first don't get it wrong at this spot right here and if you get it wrong you can rewatch this spot i want to show you guys most of us just jump into the world into the time interpolation and start interpolation on the clips which is gonna be ruining the clips what you want to do first is to come to your to the speed this is where you reduce the speed on this is where you create that nice smooth action camp so you're gonna come down to this and what since i have the three ratio two in length of the which is the length of the video clips i don't want to stretch the clips too much by putting it at ratio 50. when i put it at ratio 50 it's gonna give me that full stretch of the clip as you can see is now on 2000 so when i play it back you're gonna be seeing this let me play it back as you can see it's choppy that is the reason why i i that is the reason why i want you guys to know is as you can see it's gonna be choppy because you stretch the frame too much to its extent so it's gonna be looking choppy for those that are using 50 these are people that the length of their video is more than what is more than 30 so it's more than 30 ratio it's they have longer video length so when they stretch it they they have more room to what to expand their frame and one thing i want you as well to know is that when you come down to when you click on the video itself come to the root and come to this frame rate right here you want to change this frame rate to 60 when the video itself when the video itself is 60 in frame 
for you to know if this video is shot well for you to know if this video is recorded in 60 frame or is shoot on 60 frame just click on the video and come to this daily long and come to order then you go to information this will show you what frame is this video i'm actually editing is shoot of record in as you can see it's shoot in what as you can see is what is recording 30 frame per seconds which is awesome so i want to make sure that whenever i want to work now i'm going to be coming down to my root and change it to what and change it to 30 frame click ok so now i have this which is which is corresponding with my word with the video frame rate right here so now as you can see when i play this back it's gonna be looking choppy that is the main reason why i say you don't want to stretch the frame too much because you have to know the the frame rate so as you can see it's gonna be looking choppy as you can see it's gonna be looking choppy because i've stretched the frame too much because i have 30 frame per seconds in, in the normal clips i have 30 frame per second so i don't want to stretch it too much so now you know this that you have to know the frame rate of your video clip before you start stretching it up if it's short in 60 frame or record in 60 frame you have more room to stretch it up to as large as you want but if it's short on a 30 frame per second you don't want to stretch the frame too much because it's going to be looking choppy so now you know that so what you're going to be doing now is click on this and come down to this as well so you want to what put it at what at, at 5.0 which is awesome for 30 frame which is going to be leaving it at what 500 percent which is going to be giving you a nice smooth as you can see right here it's not looking choppy it's kind of slow it a little bit in its right frame and it's not gonna be missing any frame every frame is gonna be in, in the right whenever is there is change in the words in the positions or whenever there is change in the position of the action or the background so which i'm gonna be walking you through so make sure you watch this video to the end because i'm gonna be showing you another secret which you need to know to get that smooth action cam effect so now you have this and you've already slowed the clip down to this aspect right here which is awesome let me play it back in the wide window so you see how the slow effect has happened on the clip as you can see you're having the nice smooth but it doesn't it doesn't give you that smooth cam which you're gonna be doing so just let me so now you see this it's now slow the clip to its normal frame it's not stretching it too much so now that you have this next is to click on this three line and go to time interpolation which most of us already know how to do click on the time interpolation there are two options right there this is where i want you guys to stay focused and understand these two two aspects right here we have the frame blending and we have the optical flow 2.0 the time you're gonna be using your your frame blending is when your is when your background is moving too much than what than the subject but when the subject is moving too much than the background you want to use the optical flow right here those are the secrets you have to keep so let me recap it when your background is moving too much than the object in the frame you want to use frame blend this will help you to blend the frame all together but when the when the object in the in the video is moving more than what moving more than the background you want to use your optical flow because this will allow you this will help you to blend the frame properly so now i know the so now i know my uh, subject no so now i know my subject is moving more than my background so i want to use the optical flow that is why you see me choosing optical flow so don't just follow a lot of tutorial that will tell you just use optical flow on any clips you have to know what conditions brings about using optical flow of the blade or the frame blending so these are the condition you have to keep it in mind so whenever you use it so now i've already so now i've created this smooth action cam right here so when we play it back as you can see it's gonna give me that nice action cam as we want i think i have audio right in the video clips i hear the sound so i can detach it by just coming down to my audio you click on the audio tab and drag this all the way to zero that will bring the audio down or delete it all right of the video clips so now this is how you create the action cam as you see most of people are using it so now i want to show you another secret is that not every of the clip you want to not every of the clip you want to slow down there is a part which you need you want to slow it down or you want to speed a part so let's say this so let's say this part here right? let's say this part right here is where i want the slow action to take place what i'm going to be doing is just to click on this my scissor stick and trim it into two as you can see you have this where click on it and trim it to comp area then you raise this up as well click on this as well and trim to comp area so you can as well so you can be able to move this around 
because we've trimmed it in and out point so what i'm going to be doing right now is that since i have run the prefetch on this what i'm going to be doing is off the word interpolations then go to your speed as well and bring it back to its normal to its normal speed so what you're going to be seeing that is as reduced because when you when you stretch your clip out it's going to what it's going to slow it down but when you bring it to its normal position it's going to bring it to the normal length as you can see this is the clip we've already stretched when you click on it it's going to see it stretch about 500 percent which is about which is about 5.0 so i'm gonna bring it back so right here as you can see when we play this video back from the beginning you're gonna see that it's gonna what it's gonna speed at this part right here as the speeding and come down to the the part we run the action cam on it so let me let me bring it back again so you see what i'm talking about as you can see it's gonna run on its normal speed and slow down at that part so when we play it back it's gonna run at this normal speed and what and just slow down at that part where we want the action effect to to take place and as well continue and as well if you want it maybe after you after it's slow right here and what you want it to repeat the speed you can cut the clip right here just click on it and cut this clip right here and click on it and off the interpolation for the click on it and go to your three line and off the interpolation sorry and off the interpolation effect on it and as well reduce this back to one and reduce back to its normal speed as you want to that is how you clip but let's say so let's say you want the full clips to to run the action cam so everything will have this smooth action cam effect so let me just delete all of this clip right here and click on this and bring it back to its normal and stretch this back to its normal position right there make sure it's make sure it's reach to the end of the clip and what a hit on dream to comp area so all of this clip right here when we click it up is key is run the so all of this clip right here is on action cam so which is slow motion and which you can as well run the velocity effect on it so what you want to do now is you have true you are true with what the effects you can just come down to this export mode right here and what you want to do is to make sure this is set to 1080p or 720p depending on what your phone can undo make sure you know about that as well and make sure you know about that as well and come back to the what to the frame rate since i since my video is in 30 frame rate since the video is recorded or shoot in 30 frame rate, i can leave it at 30 so i'm going to hit on ok and hit on export as you can see it's going to be rendering this more faster than other app which leads us to as well, which is also which is going to be leading us as well into what comparing the new video editing app we're going to be running this same process on the what on the action camp effect so stay tuned and make sure you watch this video to the end and if you gain value after this video please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing on your notification bell so you stay notified every time i release a new video just like this so now we're on the note so now we're on the action cam right here as you can see we're gonna click on the file right here so it's gonna bring you down to this and you click on the video itself and click on the video so now it has import this clip right here as you can see the video is playing in real time right here as you can see so what you're gonna be doing now is to come down to this and drag it all the way so it's gonna run the world it's gonna stretch the frame as you can see it has stretched the frame right here when you bring it up back as you can see it's gonna bring it back to its normal to its normal frame as when you bring it a little big as you can see it has stretched the frame to its normal so now what you're gonna do now is to come down to this aspect right here and make sure this is what the motion interpolation is on so it can run that smooth cam effect on the clip right here so you can just click on ok or you come to the advanced function as well since i know the clip is on 30 frame i can leave it at 30 frame i don't want it to what to keep on getting a warp effect so yeah, as well you can leave it at 60 frame if your clip is as well as 60 frame so you can leave it like that so since you are running the motion interpolation effect properly it's going to be having effect so we're going to leave it at 30 frame and what apply this right here so now i have this action right here so what i'm going to be doing now is to click on save settings as you can see right here it has run the effect on the clip as you can see this is what it's going to be looking like but from what you are seeing right here as you can see this is on 30 frame but when you come back when you go back and read and bring this back to 60 frame let's see the effects and so i so i show you that it has no effect as you can see it's not even having any effect it's just going to be what stretching the frame too much whereby when you run the interpolation on the final output it's going to be looking warp 
it's gonna be looking way warp as you can see it's gonna chop and the style having some warp effect when you when, when you take a look when you after you export the clip right there so you don't want to stretch the clip or over stretch more than the normal over so you don't want to stretch the video clip over stretch so you can leave it at 30 frame and hit on apply and save the settings so what you're going to be doing now is to hit on the export the problem we have with this the smooth action cam is that it has a slow rendering effect as you can see right here it's telling me export takes too long to to try to less your motion and effect so what i need is smooth effects cam so I, there's no way i can less there's no way i can less my slow motion effect because i want that nice smooth action cam so it's going to take a lot of time which we kind of wish we're not going to be waiting so i hope you guys have gained value out of this video if you did please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing and leave me a comment and make sure to follow me on my social media at isotelani if you want to reach out to me or send me some example which you want me to see and make tutorial about and make sure you request as well you can send me information you can leave me information on my instagram page and so i'll get you guys there I and mean, you may comment about this tutorial so i can know what to improve on and what tutorial you guys want next so and as always i'll see you in the next video have a great day and bless bye for now